Pleasant day to all. My name is Rick and I'm your host in this channel. I talk about insights on various Filipino traits, values, and virtues, and most of all, Filipino kasabihan or sama wikain. Proverbs that you can apply for your personal and professional growth and development. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Philippines national animal, the carabao or kalabao in Tagalog or water buffaloes in other Asian countries. We know that the carabao is a respected animal in the Philippines and it is considered as the Filipino icon of hard work. But before I start, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell right down there to update you of my latest videos. Now back to the carabao. We can talk a lot about the carabao's origin, history, or why is it considered as the national animal of the Philippines. So many other things about this carabao to talk about, but for purposes of this conversation, we will focus on why the carabao has been related and associated to the Filipino's work attitude. And why is it considered as the Filipino farmer's best friend? The carabao symbolizes, symbolizes strength, efficiency, perseverance, and most of all, hard work. It is the Filipino farmer's loyal servant and companion, a work buddy. As they work in the farm day in and day out, rain or shine, year after year, the carabao is a very reliable and never complains. They till, plow, harrow, and smoothen the land to plant rice, pineapple, sugarcane, tobacco, and other agricultural produce. The carabao is also a good source of milk and meat for food for Filipinos. The carabao is also used to transport goods and even people. It pulls a cart or we call the cariton, if not a slide, to carry other things. It also participates in town fiestas and festivals either as part of this spectacle or just a transport system. It's no wonder why the carabao is also considered as the beast of burden. But what is the carabao for the Filipinos? It is everything for the Filipinos. For the Filipino farmers and agriculturists, especially. A Filipino to some extent is a carabao themselves, an alter ego, you could say it that way. And it's a fact, not just a theory, but a reality that is shown in and out of the country. Filipinos in the Philippines and those who work abroad are like carabaos. At least all of them do. Hard work is embedded in the Filipinos' character trait, at least to a good majority, because of their desire for greener pasture, which for them is primordial. But I could tell you that hard work is nothing new to Filipinos. Filipinos have struggled for years and years in their life and in society. They suffered in so many ways in the Spanish colonization, the American colonization, the Japanese invasion in Second World War, the internal political unrest and battle and fight for freedom, democracy, peace, and social upliftment. The Filipinos have gone through and still marching through a lot of suffering, more so now in natural calamities like earthquakes, typhoons, volcano eruptions, floods, etc. You name it, you can name it, but the Filipinos remained resilient on the face of all these trials and struggles. But despite all this, you could still see a smile on their faces. But did they complain? Yes, of course, like any other human being. Though after complaining, they go back to their good old ways, struggling with a smile on their faces. But you know, the irony is that despite all the hardships, struggles, or trials they face in life, Filipinos are also quick to put them aside because of fiestas, birthdays, special occasions, weddings, beauty contests. They are very important events. Watching telenovelas, 
drinking party or inuman kasamang mga barkada. And I shouldn't forget chismisan, gossiping, a favorite pastime. So these moments bring about a temporary but a pleasant form of respite from the harsh reality of life. Filipinos are that sort of mababaw ang kaligayahan, shallow level of happiness, that even in the midst of a flood, they can afford a smile and have fun. That character trait of mababaw ang kaligayahan is another value that we will discuss in a future vlog. But are Filipinos contented with their lives? I would say yes and no. Some Filipinos are ambitious in life, while some are not. Filipino ambition is born out of their family status, their role in society, their education, and their way of life. The Filipino in general is, uh, is a social-based society. It's true that there is inequality there are elites and a very thin line is drawn between the rich and the poor. Some live on and middle class is almost inex inexistent. But I've got to stop there though because we're going to talk about this in my future blog. Filipinos work attitudes beyond question, at least a good number of those in the Philippines. But exceptional are those who are abroad because they sacrifice a lot. Those in foreign countries are praised by employers and by the people. And they always bear in mind that their family and relatives back home need their help so much so that they've got to keep their jobs in the utmost level of their capability. Just like the carabao, they spend hours of work without complaining to ensure that the money continues to fall in their hands regularly. To them, earning means sending back home the green box, the euro, that that cash flows continuously to the prey of the needs of their family and relatives back in the Philippines. They let go of other things without question because the job is much more important than their own comfort. Comfort to them is just an underlying consequence that could be enjoyed when the opportunity comes. And it's very unfortunate that while a number of Filipinos struggle to succeed, some continue to remain to be like Quantamad or Lazy John, who only waits for the guava fruit to fall in their mouth. There are also those who are just we can say yes, pabanjing banjing lang or pa isi isi lang. Some other traits that we'll discuss in a future vlog. But should Filipinos remain to be like the Carabao? So it's a choice a Filipino could make on their own. But if you're aiming for success in life, hard work is a reasonable way to success. You have to focus, you've got to build yourself up towards the objective with that passion, the desire, the dedication, and perseverance. Filipino idea in life is, 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 I would say, very simple. To exercise their faith, to have a modest job, to be with barcada or friends, etc. As long as there is rice on the table for them to savor when mealtime comes, what goes with the rice is consequential or even immaterial because fiestas will come sooner or later. You know, it takes good ways to live a good life. It takes patience to make good things come and it takes hard work, perseverance and desire to succeed in life. And I think that a good majority of Filipinos live their lives in that sense, though being like a carabao. Filipinos are lucky. You have 
everything available. A carabao that provides them with a lot of possibility to survive. We've got, or oh, they've got natural resources to explore, people to lift you with words of wisdom, to lead you through the end of the tunnel. There's nothing lost until such time that you allowed yourself to lose because of your own doing. Before I go, I'd like to leave you with these quotes to contemplate on. The only place where success comes ahead of work is the dictionary. Unquote. Vidal Sassoon said that. And from my thoughts, you can only reach greater heights and succeed if your desire is strong enough and translated into action. In my next blog, I will talk about Utang Nalob, something very interesting and intriguing topic to discuss. Please like, share, and subscribe, and smack that notification bell to be notified of my upcoming videos. This is your host, Eric MD. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood at pakikinig. Inaasahan kong nakapamahagi ako sa inyo ng mga bagay-bagay na maaaring makatulong sa inyong paglalakbay sa buhay na ito. I want to wish you paalam and bye to all hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita. Stay safe, my friends. Hasta el próximo vlog. Adios mula sa Espanya. <music>